Hey everyone, welcome back. This video we're going to be talking a little bit more about element nodes and text nodes and a little bit of their differences. It's going to be a lot of fun because we'll start to learn how to modify the values showing up on the page and all kinds of other cool stuff so it should be pretty exciting. Now I do encourage you to check out our sponsor Dev Mountain. Are you looking for a JavaScript web development bootcamp? What about an iOS bootcamp? Dev Mountain offers classes online and in person with housing at no additional cost. Learn how to build real-world applications and get a job in the industry through Dev Mountain's career-centric program. Whether it's web development, iOS, user experience, or quality assurance, Dev Mountain has a class for you. Let them know I sent you their way and they'll give you $250 off the tuition. Link in the description. So we talked about the two common types of nodes. We had one, which is an element, and three, which is a text node. So for example, inside of this, we were grabbing all paragraphs. And the very first element is, of course, our paragraph inside of our HTML file, which is right here. So we have a paragraph which says important information, where important is in strong. Now let's take a look at the DOM structure over here. Expanding the paragraph, you can see we have child nodes. One of them is strong and one of them is text. The text is the information. And then you'll have to expand strong and, and go down to its children node to see the important text. As mentioned, text nodes are going to have a particular property called node value. So expanding this text here, you can scroll down and see node value right here. See that it says information. Now this is node type three text. If we're working with node type one and element, the node value is not something we can use. So to see this, let's go into the strong and look at its node value. Right now it's null. What we're going to do is we're going to work with this node value inside of JavaScript. So what we'll do is we'll grab the paragraphs index zero. That's gonna be the first paragraph. Then we'll go into child nodes and grab the first index, which should be the strong. So let's just console log, make sure we got what we're working with, what we wanna work with anyways. Doing a refresh, you can see it is in fact this strong uh, element. So then what we can do is we can say node value and we can give it a value such as llamas. Let's expand this HTML collection and take a look. Go into the child nodes, go into the strong and we can see we have this node value is still null. So text nodes you can change the node value. Element nodes you cannot change the node value. If we set the node value on an element nothing happens. So usually, with the exception of inputs, you can just change the text that appears on the screen by changing the node value property. So for example, if instead of grabbing the strong node, we actually grab the text inside of it, we can do that by doing another child nodes index zero, and then set the node value, doing a refresh, you can look at the HTML and look at that, it switched to llamas. There's various ways to do this. There's node value, there's inner HTML, text content. There's a lot of different properties that you can use to change the values in the HTML. This is just one. If you want, you can look up some of the differences between the others. For example, here. Here you can see the different options that you can try. And they um, are all pretty much used to change what shows up on the screen. That's all I got for you guys in this video. In the next video, we're going to be talking about something. I'm not sure what, but whatever it is, I know it's going to be awesome. So please be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.